this is a national tragedy that in, this, that in a community, in a nation as wealthy as ours, that we still have our neighbors, some many of them, still sleeping on the streets at night. And here in Norfolk, we are committed to doing something about it. That something, twice a year for the past eight years, has been Project Homeless Connect. Project Homeless Connect, you can say this is our 16th event, really brings all of those same resources into the Norfolk scope. And then we invite our guests, those people who are affected by homelessness, to come here so they can actually see all of those agencies at one time. Uh, it, instead of having appointments at different places, which are located throughout the city, people can receive direct services right here. Those include medical, dental, benefits, and housing services, just to name a few. And this year, Norfolk Mayor Paul Frame announced that the city is joining a national charge to end homelessness for military veterans. We're joining with uh, other elected officials across the Commonwealth that would include Governor McAuliffe and Mayor Jones of Richmond and Mayor Wallace of Hampton and mayors across the country to accept the First Lady Michelle Obama's call to action to end homelessness among our veterans. It's really a godsend to have people come together and help everybody out in need. I publicly acknowledge and commit the city of Norfolk and me and you and everyone who cares about this issue to our dedication to the goal to end ho veterans homelessness in this city. It's home to the world's largest naval base, naval, naval station. We are serious about our commitments to veterans. In fact, last year, the city sent a diverse delegation led by the Housing Authority and the Hampton VA Medical Center and local veterans organizations to a boot camp. The team came back and launched the Housing Our Heroes in the Norfolk LZ initiative and set a goal to end veteran homelessness as we know it by Memorial Day. 2015. It's going to be a great thing. It really is. It's going to be a great thing to get started again, start life back in normal. So far, results have been impressive. In the first 100 days of housing our heroes, a total of 78 veterans were permanently housed. And this is a 42% increase based on the monthly average of 16 veterans that were previously being housed. Another step in Norfolk's continuing effort to end homelessness in the Mermaid City and in the region. Hopefully around the country they'll do the same thing. So um, I'm hoping that not only vets but everybody else that comes here for help get the help they need.